Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? What's the word? Super thankful that y'all pulled up. This is, if you're here, you're here because you copped the Cadence Notion template, or you might be thinking about copying it, or you may have just came across this and you're probably like, yo, what is this? I, do I need this? For those who are new, welcome. My name is Mad Keys. I'm a music, I'm a music producer, keyboardist, violinist, and I have been making content online for a few years now, and it's finding that balance between content creation and creating the art and the music has been a very delicate balance. When you're able to make good music and make time to make good music and also make time to make good content, that's when you're able to really see things scale. And I, I'm thankful that I've been able to see that over the years. So I'm excited to share with you all a tool that I use very, very consistently for the past couple years that helped me plan my my day to day, my weeks, and also help me keep it keeping those thoughts and those intentions in check. So I'm gonna show y'all how this template works. It's very simple. If you're new to Notion, Notion is a free app. They have paid plans too, but for this, you don't need to pay for it. And this plan is available on my website. Link down. The link is down in the script in the description. Wow, in the description and. Without further ado, let's walk y'all through how to how to use it. All right, so Cadence is, like I said, it's a Notion template that I designed for musicians, music creators, and the content creators. If you if you're not a music artist, if but if you make content, this is still this can still be very useful for you, um, just with a few tweaks. And I'll show y'all how to how to do that. Let's walk through. So essentially, once you purchase, I'm turn my mic down a little bit, so coming in a little hot. Once you purchase the Cadence template, you'll be you'll be provide you'll be you'll be sent the link where you can add the template to your Notion Notion account. So once you've installed Notion and you set your account up and you get the link for the Cadence Cadence template, you can add this template to your page. All right, so let's walk through real quick on I'm just show you the features of the template. So essentially, once you get here, we have I have a little note that kind of you know like I said explains what the template is and right after that is a weekly journal log and let me show y'all how this works so like i said i use this template i've been using this template for the past few years and it's really really been beneficial to me so one of the, i really believe that when you start to plan your, each of your weeks it's very important that you set your intentions and you do some reflections on the week before so this journal so right here once you click that button you'll be brought to this very simple page and also just so you don't get freaked out for those new notion to users you can easily go back so you can easily go back press that back button and you're back to the main page so just like a browser essentially so let's go back here i'm gonna walk y'all through this so essentially let's say you're getting this for the first time and you're gonna you're gonna click new journal entry and what that's gonna do that's going to give you a new page and what this page is going to do this is your actual journal entry so i've created a few prompts to kind of guide you through a few things so you can really kind of take time to really reflect on the 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 your 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 goals for the week before things that you've done previously or in and and what are you and what you're looking forward to do in the week in the upcoming week it's auto dated so whatever date that you you know start the note you can select that so we have last week reflections what were some of your major achievements this week what did you learn from your experiences and these are just bulleted you know bulleted information so what happens is once you type in an idea something you obviously it works just like you know a word doc you'll get more you'll get more bullet points so if more ideas come you can enter that you can enter that there so intentions for the week what are your top three goals for this week I mean, you can if you want to change that you can change that. if you feel like you could do more you could do more if you feel like you want to do less do less you know it really depends on your situation it depends on you know you so how do you want to feel by the end of the week creative exploration what new techniques or ideas you want to experiment with this week or are, any, are there any projects or concepts you've been avoiding that you want to tackle gratitude what are you grateful for in your creative journey? What experiences or opportunities are you having faith for this week? And lastly, there's a free journaling section. So 
if you want to just take some time, if you, if you know you have some things inside that you just want to just like get out, like do that here. Like this is truly like your space to just kind of be open, be transparent about how you're feeling and take that time for yourself. So that way you'll be in the proper mindset for the week ahead. So, but that is the journal log for the template. Now let's scroll down. So the next thing that we have, we have a calendar a week at a glance view. So I'm going to show y'all how this works. So I threw in a few, you know, just some templated stuff, you know, shooting reels, call and management, you know, mood board, got a session with Solange soon, hopefully one day, you know, you submitting your EP masters to your distribution. You want to work on them songs for Tanache. We got to get to that again. We, I think this is, you know, just, painting the picture writing it down it ain't it ain't it ain't there yet but it's gonna be there soon <laughs> so so i'm gonna show y'all just kind of how this works so before we get to this i'm gonna scroll down to this task planner because this is essentially where this this is is talking to this so these two these two sections are connected to each other so this is just like a good weekly glance but if you want more specific details this is going to be kind of where you get all that. So um, you can see how each of these tasks are just kind of layer, layered in here. And the way to do that is you click new, click this box right here that says new. And you, you, have, a couple, you have a couple of options. You can select task template with subtask or task template with no subtasks. So let me show you what, the, what I mean by that. So a task with subtasks are those projects that we're working on that may be layered. They may have multiple deliverables, may have multiple things going on. So let me show you what that looks like. So for submit EP masters to distribution, quite a few things gotta, gotta happen for that. So this is what it would look like when you select task with subtasks. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can, you can label what type of what type of task this is is the design is a content creation are you doing admin work research or development is it something other so that's pretty or do you want to create a whole or do you want to create your own task you could probably say merge design boom create that boom there it is and if you want to change the color change it let's change it to red boom or you know light gray keep it light gray whatever you can definitely do that. So like if you have a specific thing in your business and your brand, a specific facet or function, and you you can label that type of task here. I'll keep it simple for now. So essentially, like I said, you'll be prompted with the goal for the task. Like, what are you trying to do? Sometimes it's really straightforward or sometimes you might, you know, you might be a little OCD. You want to write out exactly what this does or what is the goal of why I'm doing this. So I said to go live with the EP with four weeks in advance to allow time for pitching and marketing, free game. Make sure you always put, if you're dropping music, make sure you give yourself four weeks, no less than four weeks. So that way you can pitch it to Spotify, do all your, you know, you maybe your distribute, distributor has like pitching services. Make sure you give yourself time. So. And then now we have subtask. You may have to finalize arrangements, send to engineer for mix and mastering, finalize your artwork. You know, so there, there, there's a lot of layers that need to come, that need to happen with with this. So once you identify those subtasks, you can then take these. Like, okay, I want to finalize my arrangements. I'm gonna click out of here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna click new down here or or new up here with no click task with no subtask and I'm just going to paste that finalize arrangements task type user creation it's not done yet I want to get this done on Tuesday this does not have any subtasks or maybe it does maybe you want to say hey and and if it does if if you realize that hey this does have subtask you can you can x out of this and then go to with subtask and then you can say finalize arrangements and maybe subtask are, you know, track, track one, track two, dot, 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 track three, rework, rework drums, something like that. You know what I'm saying? If there are multiple things that you want to do, 
but again it's really it really depends on how detailed you want to really lock in on you know how you're how you plan your goals and your tasks so we'll, we'll just drop that out of there so you'll see finalized arrangements let me kind of messed up here check that get that out of here so you'll see finalized arrangements it's now here so we're going to select music tasks and i want that done by tuesday i thought i selected it. i think i did it in a different one so now you'll see that that shows up here so yeah that's essentially how you add goals and the differences between tasks with subtasks and tasks without them and like i said some of them may not have subtasks maybe it's like let's just shoot two reels two tiktok videos to this week mood board session for ep call with management team maybe you want to have like maybe you want to jot down notes here from your call design work for merch you know again like i think that as long as you you're just you're 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 adding your ideas here and you're specifying when you want them done and you're able to organize each task you can do that so let's say we want to look at all of our music goals for the week boom we could select music creation this is everything that we want to work on this week. Let's say I want to look, I want to see all of my content goals this week. Boom. Because we selected our task type, we can then see everything as organized. We can see everything here holistically. So our completed task will also be here. So let's say once we once we're done with the task, we're gonna check that box and it's we're gonna check that box as complete. Boom, it's gone. We can go to our completed tab and we'll see that it's done. So we could just do that for everything. So, all right, we had our move board and session for the EP. Check that off. Boom. Now it's complete. And even up here for the week at a glance, once you check these off, they'll be marked as completed. All right, so like, all right, we had our move board session. Let's check that off. Call went really good. Check that off. And again, there, there it is in our completed section. I need to add a completed view here so you can see that but other than that this is really where you're going to track everything you're going to track all your tasks your goals segment them and really have a detailed view on what you're working with so last but not least we have an end of week reflection and a few goals and this i set this aside this, this is something that i've put for myself if you're if you are making content these are just i guess some I can't, it's whatever you want to make it. You can make however many, however much, you know, you want to make per week. But I try to shoot for that. And yeah, that's just like, that's just like my benchmark. If I can hit the, hit these goals each week, then, you know, it, it, it was, it was, it was a success. Uh, I could not say that it was a success. It was a success. All right. End of week reflection. We almost done. So this is, this is a cool way to kind of round off your week. Let's say it's Friday, Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Whenever your end of your week is, you know, it's creators. We're pretty much working around the clock. So this could be either even when you start the the next your next journal session. By the end of the week, I hope to do what? Go one, go two, go three. Kind of just essentially reiterating some of the things that you journaled. You can also document some wins. So as you're going throughout your week, that might be some of those unexpected things that happen like oh shoot we got this project oh shoot this sync came in oh shoot you know we got this email from this a brand want to do this do work with them you can document those here and last but not least lessons that you've learned these can be whatever that you experiences that you've had over the week that you want to just document here in real time and you can just say, hey, I learned. Let me not take on more than what I could chew or whatever. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you'll that's where you'll put that. But other than that, y'all, that's pretty much it. It's a very, very powerful tool. I've been using Notion for like the past two years, two to three years consistently. And it's been super beneficial. I've tried a bunch of different templates, layouts, ways to document track things but i feel like this is the most efficient that i found i hope that this template serves as a resource for you i hope that it serves as a guide for you and and yeah if you have any issues with setting this up please don't hesitate to hit me up my my dms are open and you can also send me an email emails listed below as well and yeah i just i hope this serves as the resource for you 
So thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And yeah, happy creating. Let's do this.